I'm Dwayne Jacobs with Hotsey Carlson, Austin, Texas. Um, this is the Victory handheld sprayer. It comes with a, the gun. I put some fluid in here already, vital oxide. It comes with a four hour battery. Charging dock, just chop, just like your DeWalt battery at home. The cord. Plugs in here plugs in then you'll see as it charges you'll get five green bars right here when it's completely full the red ones will go away as you charge just like this this will be a solid green when it's charged completely four hours of trigger time get it charged put it into the just like your DeWalt drill this is very important this is a switch the on and off switch if that's that turns your electrostatic off and on that's on so you're spraying with electrostatic like this in the off position you basically have an $800 pump up sprayer so make sure that that's in the on position you'll be more effective with your deal so to put your the product is electrostatically charged twice once here and once here so it's double charge looking for somewhere to land and it's not piling up on each other. To put the chemical bucket on, you just put it here. Make sure this is in the unlocked position. Put it there. Tighten that up. Pull this back. Snap it in. Lock it in. Just like that. The trigger. That's a 110 micron. You can see on here there's three different microns 40 80 and 110 micron it's color coded you can tell there's a color code chart in here the white one is the 40 the 80 is the green so you want to use the green for 10 minutes dwell time with vital oxide you have to have 10 minutes dwell time to kill COVID so you're gonna to go to a fog like that completely just like that um, really not a whole lot to it to change a micron there's a key here if you only use vital oxide in there you don't have to clean your nozzle it it's clean you use it full strength and it's clean so you don't have to worry about the water the purity of the water trash getting in it just keep your vital oxide clean my sprayer has been on my back seat and I've been demoing for five years I've never cleaned my nozzle so make sure that you just use only vital oxide in here. To change, that, that key right there will allow you to take that nozzle out. If you're not gonna clean it, there's no need in taking it out. So to change the Micron spray, you just put your hand on it and go from here to there. Just, that's all it is. When it clicks, you're at the next Micron. Just that simple. The battery charges from dead from dead, dead, to a full charge in an hour. So sooner or later, when parts are available, you can buy eight hour batteries to as a spare battery. They're not gonna be available to November, December. So if you have chemical left in your bottle, you don't wanna store it with that in there, you turn the, the collar to unlock, pull the metal clip, it, co it comes right off. Well, it's brand new. Okay, comes right off, and in your bag there will be a little top. You store it in there, doesn't go anywhere. And this product is good for in, in an unopened container, sealed container, vital oxide has is, is got a shelf life of two years. Once you open that container, it's got a shelf life of one year, but it can't be out in the sun, you can't leave it in extreme heat, but inside in control temperature, it's got a one year um, shelf life. So this is good for a year.
you, if you run completely out and it's doing, just go like this. And that primes it up. Yes, sir. If, if you, so when you, when you take that off, you got to prime it again. And, and you, you, you put this in your bag and you put your top on it, open it up, finish spraying what's in here so that little bit doesn't leak into the bag. Mm -hmm. And then, but sometimes when you put it back on, you have to you reprime it. And that's just that motion oh, right okay. there. Hey, good morning again. And Dwayne, thanks for that training. He reminded us about one other thing with this Victory handheld sprayer. When you first put it into use and you put the tank on and you spray with it, if it's, if it's sputtering, you need to just tip it down a couple of times and then it'll start working again. So if it's sputtering and spraying too big a droplet, just remember to tip it down and spray it again. Thank you.